Hello again, my lovelies. We're back here. Welcome back to my channel. A little late today, but I've got my three videos for today. So we are doing Off the Board, the month-long series. It's day 30. It's the last day. I have so enjoyed this, and I cannot wait to do it again. Stay tuned, because next month in August, we have Around the World in 30 Days, and it'll be a whole bunch of vacation-type layouts going on there. Um, it is also May I Scrap Lift You. So for my Off the Board and May I Scrap Lift You, I am doing this beautiful lift right here, which is the circle, and it is by Elodie Lucy. Yeah. Um, come on, pick it up. There you go. The design team for Coco Vanilla Studios, and I thought it was fabulous that I was using Coco Vanilla Studios. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I've pulled in a circle punch, and I do have some sequins to jazz it up a little bit. Um, with that being said, it is also Stash Smash Saturday with my good friend Jackie, who is JQ Crafty here on YouTube, and I will have her link down below, along with everybody else from May I Scrap Lift You and Off the Board. So, last week for Stash Smash, you know I killed that collection that I was using, and that's how me and Jackie have decided how we were working this, that we were pulling a collection and using it until we basically had it, you know, killed, which to us was no more 12 by 12 papers, or n not enough embellishments to create a layout, and then we can move on. But we can't move on from the collection until it meets one of those two criterias. We also give each other, because if that wasn't enough, we give each other a list of seven items, and we have to at least get five on there, and they're random items. So mine this month was Stars, Washi, No Blue, Grids, Ink, Torn Paper, and Bold Pattern Paper. So I, I only have to get five of those, and there's probably, there's going to be blue today, so that's not going to be one of my five. So I'm going to try to get Stars, Washi, um, maybe a Grid. Probably not even that. So I definitely have to get Stars, Washi, Ink, Torn Paper, and Bold Pattern Paper. Uh, I am using the Coco Vanilla's Studio No Limits collection because I have four 12x12s left. I know there's three here, but I've already pulled one for my today's layout. So we've got this one, these three left over. Got some die cuts that I had cut out of the smaller paper pads. So we're going to pull some of those in because they're stars. we got our puffy little planets. Two of the little, what do they call these, wood buttons, a few pieces of the ephemera left, lots of the titles left, just a few of these stickers left, a few of the chipboard, um, brand new strip, I have a piece of the frame I cut off, um, lots of the 4x6 cards, and just two scraps, along with the um, A5 paper stack. And here are the layout, the pictures that I'm going to be using today. I know there's one there, but we're going to cut these down and make a 4 by 6 out of 2. And then I'm going to use this to create that circle pattern with the punch. So, all that being said, <laughs> um, I've actually used this collection to do the entire Elton John portion of my album. And now the Alabama concert that I took my mom to, a portion of my album. So hopefully I can kill it off finishing up with the Alabama concert. If not, we'll just do some random stuff as well. Because it's gonna because now I've pulled it into Stash Smash Saturday. So it's going to get done. It's also one of my How to Kill a Kit with Styles for September. You guys know I chose six. I had killed one off with Stash Smash Saturday. And uh, stay tuned tomorrow because you'll have the reveal for that, or the wrap-up. See how I did with those six collections and see uh, what everybody else did. But anyway, let's get back to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the branding strip off. I'm going to go through here and pull a whole bunch of fun, funky colors and get my circles going, trim these down and get them backed. Um, and there's already stars on here, so score, already have that. And that's a bold pattern paper to me. So we're just going to go ahead and start crossing these off, right? We've got the bold pattern paper. We've got the stars. Um, and we'll just figure out what else to do, come what may, right? So let me go ahead and get some of that stuff done, and we'll come back with an update shortly. So I chose the teal pattern paper and matted both the photos. And then I took the wood grain and I tore it, so boom, torn paper. That's right. All right, and then what I want to do is we're, gonna, we're not going to glue this down yet. We're going to put this right here, and we are going to start placing. I cut up a whole sheet of paper into half circles. So we're just going to start getting these stuck down. 
try and recreate what's going on here. Trying to figure out how to make it look like it's going right. Just lining them up. And I used the stripe pattern paper to bring some pops of colors. That's why I knew I was going to fail epically with the no blue. Um, next month, though, we will change. So each month, we do change the seven items to keep it interesting. Um, but I was coming to the end of wanting to be playing with this collection anyway because I'm running out of things. I actually did pull this, these two, uh, there's two of, there's two each in the small paper pad. I'm going to cut that up and use these to create a little bit more embellishments. Yeah, usually I run out of one or the other, right? So this is going to be the last layout that I'm creating with my How to Kill a Kit with style for August, my six kits. So I do feel like I got a lot done. And I actually did kill off one of them, right? So that was exciting enough for me. So now to make a trail off this way. Coming dangerously close, but I'm just going to hopefully use, I'm able to get just one more. And there we go. So we've got that going on a little bit bigger, but nonetheless still so we're going to get this glued down. I do have it popped up on some foam. Whenever I use foam, I always use liquid and the ATG adhesives. We're just going to make sure that we cover all of those. All right. And now... We need to come in with a few embellishments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some of these embellishments chosen. And we'll come back and put them on together. Alright, I've picked a few items. So I do want to get this little star cut out on here. So I'm just going to slightly tack that down. I don't want to put too much glue. Like it's not so much lightly as just not big globs all over the place because this glue tends to, you know, I do call it my craptastic glue. Alright, so I'm just going to tuck that right under there. We've got the U Rock stuck on there. I've got my title, which is uh, You Got Big Limits. I don't really know, but I'm trying to use some of it up. So we're just going to pop all the little things out, and we are going to run the title on here. I am going to splatter everything with ink once the title, once everything is done, and then we'll just, so I need to get some washi on here, and we're good. So, thinking about putting the title around in this general vicinity, right? To separate it out. I do hope you're all having a fabulous Saturday. I am doing my best just to take the weekend 
and get caught up. I would like to be two weeks ahead, and as you can see, well, starting off behind because <laughs> it's pretty late already. But I actually, I don't know why, I've got some of the, the next videos all ready to go. I just don't know why I was lagging on this one. Alright, so let's uh, pull that this way a little bit, and then we are going to put stars right in there. I've got some of these wood veneer star, or not wood veneers, I'm sorry, they're chipboard stars. So we're just going to pop those in there. So definitely we got stars and I've cut apart that. I do want to pop in this you rock. So you're gonna, well, I don't want to put it there because you rock's already there. So we're gonna put this over here. And I have a few of these reach for the stars, like just these fun little cut aparts that I cut apart. Ha ha ha. Sorry. I'm just gonna kinda kinda add those around like a boss. Too legit to quit because you know, hey, they're like in their late 70s, still touring. So we got three of those on there. Get some more of this chipboard. This is a little lighting bolt, just trying to use it up. We're just going to tuck that one under there. And then I've got this one. Whoops. Hit the camera stand. You hear the noise in the background? Sorry, Hubs is cutting the grass. So let's run this one this way. We've got this as well. I don't think that's going to work today. Um, let's see. Let's put all this stuff back. We're going to get the stars on. And then we're going to scatter some sequins. think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this with you. I'm going to add my sequins splatter and we'll be back to wrap this layout up so you can see how it's finished. But I'm just scattering these little stars right around. Alright, so we're going to scatter some of the sequins and then we will splatter the layout and we'll be back in just a minute. So I went ahead and I just threw some washi tape up here in the corner. Go me. Washi tape done. I've ink splattered with a uh, balmy night delusions ink spray. And I've got all my sequins on. And that's it. So we are done for the day. So don't forget. Check everyone else out who is playing along with May I Scrap Lift You In off the board. And head on over and see if Jackie has got her video up yet. Because I was late. And I know Jackie was late. We apologize. But... You know, sometime through each Saturday, we'll have a video for you guys. Here's my, or, or here's the original I scrap lift, and here's my interpretation. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you later with another video. Bye.